so welcome guys a uh, very good evening to all a uh, very good evening to all clearly audible and visible just acknowledge in the live chat window clearly audible and visible a uh, very good evening to all good evening good evening devanand shivam a very good evening to all clearly audible and visible just acknowledge with a thumbs up so that without wasting any further time we can start with our session clearly audible and visible na so we are here with uh, one of the most predictable papers discussion so upcoming ini ct is going to be there on 7th of may so our target is that we should be able to cater all the last at least 3 to 4 years pyqs i will make you sound i will make you sound as far as my subject pyqs are concerned now in next 1 to 2 hours we will be trying to cover all those important areas and you will see that you will be predicting the questions yourself and that is the best part of ini ct exam it's a very 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 easy exam as far as predictions are concerned so we will try to get all those things so pyqs coming to pyqs november 2022 discussion has already been done that is available on dbmci youtube channel so i'm not go i will not be wasting time on those questions november 2022 had two sessions correct na so number of questions you will see will be around 20 to 22 if needed na in the end i will summarize quickly the question answers of november 2022 so other than november 2022 i will be covering your july 22 then 21 both the sessions 20 both the sessions this is my target theek okay? hai and believe me you will see almost more than 90% of the questions from today's session at least the topics and the areas will be there so it is such a predictable paper so without wasting any further time let us start with question number 1 we are good to go this was one of the questions what do you mean by bullet wipe seen on the wound surface when the person was brought for autopsy or in casualty what do you mean by bullet wipe The correct answer here goes with. Correct answer goes with. Go on answering the questions. Go on answering the questions, but take less time so that discussion part is covered more. So here the correct answer goes with option C. Shoot and debris from the barrel. So what do you mean by bullet wipe? Another name for bullet wipe is dirt collar, also called as grease collar. this you all know and yes when a bullet comes out from the barrel of a firearm weapon it will take the grease material with it and it will deposit around the entry wound so what is the prototype of a rifled entry wound let us just quickly revise the prototype of a rifled entry wound is in the center you will see a round entry this will be surrounded by black color grease material this grease was brought by the bullet from the barrel when it was coming out from the barrel and the bullet gets a spinning motion we all know due to the lands inside the barrel then due to this spinning motion when the bullet hits the body surface yes we also get contusion and abrasion collar and we all know that yes contusion abrasion collar grease collar and this entry wound is the prototype rifled entry wound it sequence from outer to inner so this was the question which was asked in our exams what do you mean by bullet wipe bullet wipe is nothing but the grease which is present surrounding the entry wound clear other options were there to confuse us but yes we should know the synonyms that bullet wipe is another name for dirt or grease collar next question all of the following are causes of meiosis except now this is a very important table which we should always revise not only for ini ct exams but for any exams be it pg be it fmg exams be it all india or fmg exam So here the correct answer goes with simple question. 
आंसर इज ऑल्सो सिंपल करेक्ट आंसर गोज विद अट्रोपा बेलाडोना दैट इज अट्रोपिन अट्रोपिन इज अट्रिक वी ऑल नो एंड ये मॉर्फिन हेरोइन इज डाइसेटाइल मॉर्फिन ओबीसी एंड कार्बामेट्स ऑल आर मियोटिक कंपाउंड सो वॉट शुड बी अवर टारगेट लेट इज रिवाइज द लिस्ट ऑफ मियोटिक्स एंड मेड्रियाटिक्स वॉट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट मियोटिक्स I will say that yes, OPCs should always be remembered. Along with OPCs, opioid should always be remembered. Okay, these are the two most important poisonous groups, which are very important for any exam. Then, carbolic acid, one of the corrosives, very important corrosive acid that is phenol. Then your chloral hydrate, chloral hydrate. then barbiturate group of agents barbies like phenobarbital then pontine hemorrhage cases they can also lead to bilateral meiosis so this is a my simple list from where i will be able to solve my questions then what is the important list of midriatic which is asked in the exams or which will help you solve bigger lengthier questions so important midriatics in relation to toxicology we should always remember that yes one of the vip poisons that is datura because the act principle of datura is thiocyanin thiocyanin and atropin then cocaine lsd and amphetamines is it tough to memorize this if i am very sure that yes this is one of the most important predictions that yes i will be able to solve questions if i remember these two differentials differentials of meiotics and midriatics To be always remembered. Okay. Then come to next question. I am little bit fast so that I cover more and more number of questions. I have to cover six session questions now. Okay. So I am taking into account that you have already read the subject once. Okay. In a chronic alcoholic delirium tremens occurs due to all except. Iska answer batao. Now tell me the answer to this question. This was one of the funny questions asked in INI CT exam. I will be covering dull Dan House Dan House. I will be covering firearm uh, entry wounds, na? That I will be covering. Its answer kya hoga? The question is a very simple question. Given the fact that you know that delirium tremens occurs at about two to three days of sudden alcohol withdrawal in a chronic alcoholic. So the moment you remember this line, yes, my answer of choice will be option A. other options cannot be my answer and yes when a person is suffering from acute infections or he is into shock due to injury no one will give alcohol to the person in the hospital na that you are a chronic alcoholic drink alcohol otherwise you will go into delirium tremens isn't it so yes all the factors because of which the person is not able to consume alcohol they can be precipitating factors i hope it is clear i hope it is clear okay so it occurs at about 2 to 3 days of sudden alcohol withdrawal and you will see this question again in on 7th of may one question from this topic either they will ask the diagnosis or they will ask the treatment aspect so let us just quickly recap the important aspects of delirium tremens at about 2 to 3 days of sudden alcohol withdrawal a alcoholic what happens in the body of the alcoholic reversal reversal at neurotransmitter level what is that reversibility or what is that reversal thing which has happened now the alcoholic due to sudden alcohol withdrawal will have increased activity of nmda receptors that is glutaminergic response will be up along with this there will be decreased activity of gaba ergic neurotransmitters that means inhibitory neurotransmitter activity is less alcohol is a cns depressant that we know why it is a cns depressant because alcohol leads to ethyl alcohol in general leads to decreased activity of glutaminergic response and increased activity of gabaergic response reversal of this will happen in withdrawal and that will explain all your features like the person will go into agitation he will show you features of seizures hallucination all the excitatory features all the excitatory features clouding of consciousness so all these are alcoholic withdrawal features and yes how will you treat the person if the person is conscious he can take a oral drug so we can give oral chlorodiazepoxide long acting benzodiazepines are preferred 
If the person is unconscious, we will prefer those drugs because the person is a chronic alcoholic. We will prefer those short acting, short acting benzodiazepines which are safe to be given in liver damage condition because the liver will already be compromised. So yes, we can give lorazepam, oxazepam, correct now? So you will see one question from this topic. This is a prediction and you will get it. Come to next one. This is another hot favorite area of INICT examiners. And very high chances that yes, one question from this topic will be repeated. So let us see the question. You must have gone through this question, I think. Particularly during my classes, I covered this question. An 11 year old girl was found inattentive in class, also cried sometimes. On further inquiry, the principal of the school came to know that uncle of the girl had been touching her genitals inappropriately at home. What is the offense which the uncle is doing? Because the victim is a kid who is a child in India. Child is a person less than 18 year old. And to safeguard the rights of a child, we have got POXO Act with us now, protection of children from sexual offenses. So POXO Act will be applicable to give the justice to this 11 year old girl. So what is the offense which the uncle is doing? Uncle is the known relative of the kid. And when the person is a known relative, the offense under POXO Act becomes aggravated or when it is done by a person in authority. That is a separate question. When does offenses under POXO Act becomes aggravated? When done by any person in authority. Person in authority means in which the child was having a confidence. So yes, the uncle is a person in authority. The offense will be aggravated, but which offense in particular? The offense which the uncle was doing was touching the genitals. This is labeled as sexual assault under POXO Act sections. So what is this offense which the uncle has been doing? Can be a new question. Okay. Who should the principal inform first? If we go into deeper details, yes, during school hours, the teachers and principals, they act as guardians according to the doctrine of loco parentis. Based on this doctrine of loco parentis, I can say that the principal should always inform the local police or there are juvenile police, police units too. So either you can see this option too, juvenile police unit. This can also be your, so either of these two options can be there in the exam lines, exam options. I hope it is clear and it is the duty of the policeman to inform the parents and to inform the child welfare officer. I hope it is clear. So what are the offenses under POXO Act? One is penetrative sexual assault, which is almost in corroboration with the rape definition. Just one difference is there. Rape definition is one way, male to a female. Penetrative sexual assault gives justice to both genders, both male and female child. Then another offense is sexual assault. Touching of private parts of male or female child is sexual assault. These offenses become aggravated when done by person in authority, like known relatives, like security people, like policemen. All these are persons in authority. I hope it is clear. Come. This simple. This everyone will be able to answer. This was asked as an image based questions. So I'm trying to cover all the image based questions which have come in recent three years. Answer kya hoga? Erythro, xylem, cocoa. Correct now. What is this plant? This is erythrozylan cocoa plant. And from the leaves of this plant, what is obtained? What is obtained from the leaves? Cocaine. After treating the leaves with concentrated acids like hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, after multiple distillations and refinements, the final product that is cocaine is obtained. So cocaine is obtained from which part of this plant? Leaves. Always remember leaves. Will anyone tell me the name used for diagnosis of cocaine poisoning? There is a cocaine addict who has come in casualty. You have taken the blood sample of the patient, of the addict. Which test you will love to apply to detect cocaine in the sample? Answer. On batayega sabse pehle. One of the diagnostic tests to detect cocaine from the blood sample of a cocaine addict is Gold chloride test. Never forget this name. Gold. Gas chromatography na hamesha yaad rakhna jitan. Gas chromatography is used for volatile poisons. 
always i will come to gas chromatography let let me write the name of the test for cocaine poison detection that is gold chloride test okay now remember gas chromatography in relation to two mcqs they are repeat questions in itself gas chromatography is one of the most reliable tests or we say gold standard confirmatory test for alcohol poisoning as well as sulfos poisoning sulfos is aluminum phosphide na on coming in contact with moisture when you when the person consumes sulfos tablets it comes in contact with saliva saliva is moisture water so what is released is phosphine gas again gas chromatography is most confirmatory there and same for ethyl alcohol detection so these two are separate questions So this is your erythrozalan cocoa plant, and everything about all these narcotic poisons is important, like cannabis, cocaine, opium. The way we have covered now, the differentials and all, that is very important. Now answer this question. This is another hot favorite area, snake poisoning, because these cases do come in casualty in India. So this was asked three years back, I think in June, June or November 2020. So match the following snakes. Number one goes with this. Number one goes with crab. Number two has got spectacle shape mark over the back of neck. So yes, this spectacle shape mark will help me recall that common people wear spectacles. King wears contact lenses. Okay, so common cobra will have a spectacle shape mark. But here the option was simple. But even if the option is like na common cobra or king cobra, this will match with common cobra because of this spectacle shape mark. Just my common look pen. Okay, this is the way to remember. Then vipers start with V alphabet, and always you will see a V shape head, which is also referred to as triangular. Instead of triangular na, remember V shape head. V for vipers. So yes, image number three goes with vipers, and out of exclusion, image number four was going with python. Python actually uh, encircles the prey and causes a sort of traumatic asphyxia to the people. While these snakes, they have got venomous ven venoms in there uh, when they when they use their fangs. Yes, venom is injected, and they are highly venomous snakes. Correct. Now everything about a snake is important. We will see one or two more questions which has been asked in the exam. as we move ahead so answer this one this one is another hot favorite area again you can see one question see this was asked in 2020 again it was asked in 2022 november 2020 and november 20 see the see the way of re repeating the questions that is why i was saying it is a very predictable paper the topics are highly repeated ones so identify the post mortem change in image yes nothing else but marbling nothing else but marbling why marbling because the veins here are prominent due to greenish discoloration of superficial veins the veins become prominent and this is due to bacterial putrefaction and this process can start at about 24 hours but this to become visible or i write this is seen at what time answer will go with 36 to 48 hours 36 to 48 hours correct na the same thing was asked in our all india exams so marbling is one question area na which is hot favorite for all the exams i hope it is done chale aage badhe let us move ahead now solve some match the following questions answer this one try to try to match it quickly all of you all of you and yes marbling is due to production of self hemoglobin pigment self hemoglobin pigment which is green color pigment self hemoglobin is the green color pigment which gives rise to marbling so i will show you this match the following this was asked this is a repeat area repeat question simple one easily match or ethylene glycol is used as anti freeze in vehicles and it is metabolized by the same enzymes which are used to metabolize ethyl alcohol and methyl alcohol If I remember this fact, what I will recall 
that ethylene glycol metabolism can be inhibited by giving inhibitor of the first enzyme. What is the first enzyme? Alcohol dehydrogenase. Because all group has to be metabolized. So, kya lagta hai? Alcohol dehydrogenase. So, give the inhibitor of alcohol dehydrogenase. That is fomepizone. So, one with will match with B. B. Come to valproic acid. Valproid leads to increased levels of ammonia in the body. So, yes, levocarnitine is beneficial there. So I can match this with D. HF6 is hydrofluoric acid, which gives rise to hypocalcemia and hypomagnesemia. If I remember this fact, yes, I can match this with 10% calcium gluconate and heparin antidote is protamine sulfate. Unfractionated heparin antidote is protamine sulfate. This we all know. Okay, so this was a simple match the following. This was another match the following question in the same session. Another question was asked. Answer this one. This is also a simple question. On in one column, weapon or mechanism was written. In another column, the injuries produced by the weapon and mechanism was written, and you, and you were given some options. Now, these questions should never be left, be it of any subject, because there will be a probability of you solving the question even with 50% knowledge about the topic. Why? Because the options will be like one will go with B, two will go with C. Even if you match two options and you see there is no other option matching with that same thing, you will be in a position to solve the question. So never leave match the following questions. They are bonus questions. So X is a heavy sharp edge weapon and X will lead to chop wounds. This we all know. In road traffic accidents, which type of abrasions are most common? Grazed abrasions also called as brush burn or friction burn. So yes, I can match grazed abrasion over here. Blade, blade to be taken as a sharp edge weapon. And yes, any sharp edge weapon used over the body surface will lead to incised wounds. What do you mean by incised wound? Any wound which has clean cut margins and there are no tissue connections between the two edges. What is a lacerated wound? A wound which has been produced by blunt weapon or blunt impact, which has irregular margins and there will be tissue connections between the two edges because the weapon is a blunt weapon. What is a blunt weapon? Any weapon which is not sharp is a blunt weapon. Use of lati or rod will lead to two lines of bruises with intervening normal skin. What do you call such bruises as tram track bruise? It appears as if a track has been formed over the skin surface. That is referred to as tram track bruise. Correct. So this is your correct matching. B, C, A, B. In the sequence of 1, 2, 3. Correct now? Now, let us move on to this question. This is a question of which is a VIP question has been asked in each and every exam. A 22 year old female dead body was brought for autopsy. The autopsy doctor noted hemorrhage in eyes, bruises and abrasions over neck and extravasation of blood in neck tissues and muscles. This is suggestive of. And this has been asked a hundred times. This has been asked a hundred times. Answer kya hoga? Now these are bonus questions again because the moment you see front of neck having bruises and abrasions what you will think of that yes any option which has got ligature is not my answer so ligature is strangulation and hanging is easily ruled out the signs are not suggestive of drowning by ruling out option i am marking my answer as throttling given the fact suppose you don't remember what is throttling you are in a blackout, then also you can solve this question. Directly also, we have to attempt such questions. Why? To save our time. If you have revised nicely now, you will be solving this question within one second. The moment you see hemorrhage in eyes, and you will recall your notes lines, that hemorrhage in eyes with abrasions and bruises over front of neck, with deeper extensive damage in neck muscles and tissues, goes with throttling, that is manual strangulation. So I will mark throttling or manual strangulation as my answer of choice. So always there are two ways of solving a question. These are simple questions to be attempted questions. Now, this was one of the questions where multiple options were correct. Try to solve it. Which options are correct? This is a multiple correct question. 
multiple options can be correct again this is a simple topic drowning drowning is a hot favorite topic asphyxial death is very important for inict exams in november 2022 also they asked two questions back to back from drowning so revise asphyxial death nicely just the notes material which we have covered in our classes now that is more than enough all your questions will be along those lines answer goes with in fresh water what happens movement of water from alveolus to the rbc compartment why because the rbc compartment is already rich in potassium ions so they attract water from the alveolar compartment they go on swelling and swelling and finally they rupture as a result what happens is a picture of hemodilution due to movement of water from alveolus to vascular compartment so hemodilution will be there as a result of hemodilution yes levels of sodium chloride magnesium calcium all will be decreased and yes it leads to ventricular fibrillation we all know arrhythmia is also going to happen and yes whatever may be the type of water this water will lead to damage of type 2 alveolar cells again i can add one option in future exams that will there be myocardial hypoxia answer will be yes myocardial hypoxia yes this is also commonly seen what is common due to water inside alveolus due to this water inside alveolus there will be damage of type 2 alveolar cells or i can create an option that damage of surfactant production that is a correct option then this is also correct the blood which will be coming to the heart will be devoid of oxygen it will lead to myocardial hypoxia in particularly which findings are going with fresh water hemodilution hyponatremia and arrhythmia what about potassium levels due to rupture of rbcs hyperkalemic picture is there not hypokalemic and this is the change which leads to ventricular fibrillation and kills the person quickly in a case of fresh water drown i hope it is clear in salt water what will happen let us revise salt water too in salt water there will be moderate rise of sodium and chloride because some of the sodium and chloride present in salt water diffuses inside vascular compartment in salt water the movement will be away from the vascular compartment so this will create a hemo concentration picture so as a result of which levels of magnesium calcium all will be raised what about potassium there is no significant change in the levels of potassium why because the maximum potassium is present within the rbc compartment rbc remains intact they shrink in size but they don't rupture in salt water so there is no significant change in potassium levels what will be the other common findings in salt water drowning i can say yes these are common findings these two are common findings whatever may be the type of water if water is there damage of type 2 alveolar cells and myocardial hypoxia is a common finding is this a tough topic again you can get a question from this area this is the prediction for inicts so revise drowning topic nicely or oh, the whole asphyxial death chapter nicely now come to this area they are very fond of asking such questions now why because these cases come in casualty on a regular basis and as doctors we have to examine the cases so we should be aware of the guidelines so multiple correct options can be there pick your answers out of a b c d e f g h i have twisted few options so as to cover this topic completely read the question pick your answer out of a to g which are which of the following do you think are correct about option a yes this is a correct option we should always as doctors we have to inform the policeman whether the victim wants the complaint to be made to the police or not that is their prerogative but as doctors we have to inform policeman so 
swap collection is a part of examination so collection of swaps is wrong option we have to document refusal for our own safety conduct examination without consent never you cannot examine a rape victim or sexual assault victim without her consent if her age is more than 12 yes her consent is valid as per mohfw guidelines so this is the correct option will you go ahead with treatment and some diagnostic test to rule out pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases yes that is why the victim has come to hospital and when they come to hospital they make either a opd card or an emergency card which is a sort of implied consent or treatment and diagnosis to be done by the doctor correct now b is b is not correct yes a c e f g very good manoj manoj gave the answer first and that to 100% correct then how you are also correct just remember collection of swab is a part of examination without examining how can you collect the swab i hope it is clear to all so what is the cut off age for consent in relation to sexual assault cases 12 years and 12 years a victim 12 and more than 12 her consent is valid always remember if the victim is less than 12 take the consent from guardians clearly written in mohfw guidelines without any doubt and these guidelines were published not today in 2014 itself and that is why these questions are being asked because you mark them wrong answer this one someone was uh, requesting na ki shotgun entry rifle entry i know this is a troublesome area we will make it very very simple you will be very confident the moment you will see questions from this area na you will become confident first try to answer this question kya hoga sahi let me show you the image identify the range of firearm weapon injury as shown in image this was a sort of image shown in the exam for stds you can keep blood samples na you can keep blood sample of the victim na and you will be mentioning na to rule out stds i have preserved the sample but swab collection is genital swab collection na or oral swab collection that is a part of examination clear godavari for ruling out pregnancy you can do upt you can do usg that is allowed that is not a part of examination here the correct answer goes with now you should be very confident in such questions okay i will tell you the answer first and then we will revise this topic and you will appreciate that yes this is a this is a doable topic with 100% speed and accuracy here the correct answer goes with this one option d is the correct answer this is a shotgun entry wound so let us revise shotgun entry first that is the troublesome area na rifle entry to easy rehta hai so we will revise both the entry wounds okay shotgun and rifle quickly so if i fire a shotgun weapon which is a total cylinder bore or smooth bore weapon inside the barrel everything is smooth so what happens when i fire a shotgun weapon if the weapon is fired in contact contact range is one of the ranges now so in contact range what happens is if the contact is hard contact and that to over head area due to blow back phenomena what we get is a star shape entry also called as a stellate shape entry simple if the contact is over other body areas where there is a bony structure there is no bony structure beneath the skin layer in the head area there is the underlying skull bone na? so we get a star shape entry due to the blow back phenomena but if the contact is over areas like abdomen there there won't be any star shape entry wound now what you will get is a oval entry wound because all the pellets which are coming out from a shotgun cartridge they will enter the body together and they will stretch the skin and they will make a oval entry wound instead of a round entry wound this is simple what about the effects in a contact shot usually the effects will go in the track of the wound effects in the form of singeing blackening and tattooing okay so singeing blackening and tattooing they usually travel in the track just remember this inside the track of the wound 
but one catch is there if there is contact over this area na the flame will go through the hairs so singeing might be seen given the fact that it is a contact shot singeing might be seen but over this area we are aware that what is the type of entry wound star shape or stellate shape so by seeing the image we will make out that this is a contact shot then another range is suppose i have moved the muzzle end little bit away from the skin so it is not contact it is near to contact so medically this is what is called close range also called as near contact near contact close range bolo ya near contact bolo the same thing it is same thing it is not contact it is near to contact so what happens here is singeing blackening and tattooing they will always be present they will always be noted over the skin sir over the skin sir okay over skin so blackening is present over epidermis tattooing is present in the deeper layer that is dermis layer due to unburnt gunpowder particles blackening is due to smoke particles singeing is due to the flame which is coming out from the barrel through the muzzle end correct what about the entry wound due to the pellets again the pellets unit is maintained and they will again make a oval entry wound. tell you things are simple now as you further increase the distance of the muzzle end from the skin surface the pellets will start to disperse and it is this dispersion of the pellets on increasing the distance between the target and the muzzle end what happens is entry wound becomes variable so what is that range where the variability starts that range for a shotgun is intermediate range intermediate is also referred to as medium range shot sometimes it is also referred to as near shot now what about the effects when do you say a wound to be in intermediate range when singeing is absent but what is exclusively present is tattooing so the moment i see tattooing is exclusively present plus minus blackening my range is intermediate range what about the entry wound due to the dispersed pellets now the pellets they will dispose and suppose these are the dispersed pellets they are entering the body just imagine the pellets which i have made over the screen na they are entering the body in a irregular way so yes the entry wound will be like this now when the pellets are moving in a irregular pa pattern inside the body so yes the entry wound will become irregular it will appear as if a rat has nibbled the skin surface i can call this entry as rat hole entry simple and then comes distant range the last one distant range for a shotgun is where no effects will be seen singeing blackening and tattooing they are totally absent okay but the pellets will further disperse na why because this is in terms of distance it is more than intermediate so now two important variations to be remembered here at a particular distance more than 200 cm what happens is some of the pellets they will enter to the central rat hole entry by making a rat hole entry and there will be few pellets which will be widely dispersed they will enter the body surface like this and this will be referred to as a central rat hole with satellite wounds satellite you read in hansen's disease too there you read satellite wounds there you read satellite word na in leprosy here also there is a satellite word so here it is referred to as rat hole with satellite wounds due to those widely dispersed pellets another variation in distant ranges at a particular distance more than 400 cm that was our exam question now the pellets are so dispersed there won't be any rat hole all the pellets they are entering the body making individual pellet wounds so the moment you see individual pellet wounds what is your range conventionally it is distant range to be exact in terms of distance it is more than 400 cm we know all this fact is it a tough question now try to recap 
just close your eyes and recap with me in contact range if the contact is overhead i will get a star shape entry what about the effects usually they travel in the track of the wound if the contact is over abdomen you will get a oval entry wound if the range is close range i will get singeing blackening and tattooing what about entry wound i will get a oval entry what about intermediate or central rat hole due to the widely dispersed pellet what will be exclusively present tattooing plus minus blackening indistinct no effects and two important ranges to be remembered that will help us fetch our make our one question correct so is it a tough question the moment you see this what should strike to your mind that the pellets have entered singly these are individual pellet wounds what you will recall this is distant range and to be exact more than 400 and then you will look at the option if you have revised like this and you will mark this answer with 100 percent confidence and you will move ahead isn't it is this topic uh, now simple i hope it is simple now don't mark it wrong could we revise rifled entry too quickly in one minute rifled entry is simple shotgun entry appears to be tough but it is simple if read like this come to rifled entry wound rifled weapons like pistol or revolver they have a short barrel length then we have military rifles also their barrel length is long so whenever you fire a rifled weapon what happens in relation to contact same thing if the contact is over head area you will get star shape entry due to that blowback phenomena also called a stellate or cruciate shape if the contact is over abdomen if the contact is over abdomen you will get a if the contact is over abdomen you will get a round entry round entry either word the word used here is wrong because actually practically speaking during autopsy we see a round entry what about other ranges close range intermediate range or distant range with a rifled weapon round entry so here the things are simple but this prototype round entry will be surrounded by we know contusion abrasion grease and in the innermost aspect entry eight sequence from outer to inner this grease color is also called dirt color or bullet wipe the first question of today's discussion that, that is a repeat question what is bullet wipe something which the bullet deposits around the entry clear godavari you want to see a pick of more than 200 centimeters just give me one sec just one sec See this see this image what is the range of the firearm weapon if i show you this image in on 7th of may exam and i frame a question that what is the range of the firearm weapon whether it is shotgun or rifled so you will see that yes the wound is totally irregular like and there are widely dispersed pellets too so you will rule out that this is not going to be rifled entry this is going to be a shotgun entry correct and to be exact the moment you see a central rat hole something like this with satellite wounds these are wounds they are not tattooing always remember tattooing is a stippled appearance this is skin defect so the moment you see this your answer will be more than 200 correct godavari correlated in our exam this this plane was shown to us and they asked a question so yes the moment you are shown only this plane this part it is more than 400 simple Hello. let us come to next question i hope this area is clear now no confusion in ballistics topic now this is a area of ibcs in relation to injuries which is hot favorite for every exam Recently, in NEET PG exam, they asked IPCs in relation to criminal abortions. Our IPCs related to injuries are also important. This is a repeat question. So, first of all, try to answer the question. Multiple correct options. Multiple uh, options can be correct.
बताओ बताओ आंसर बताओ आंसर क्या होगा आई हैव मेड सम ट्विस्ट सो दैट वी रिवाइज ऑल दीज इंपॉर्टेंट टेक्स टूगेदर The question was having five five options. I made two more options. Dangerous weapon of violence are related to which IPC section? The correct answer goes with three twenty four and three twenty six. Let us do a quick recap. At least the key words three one nine IPC defines. So always remember these four sections. ये जो शुरू के चार हैं ना A B C and D. They are definition sections. And E F G H, they are punishment sections. So what do they define? Three one nine defines hurt. Hurt is any bodily pain, disease, or infirmity caused to a person. Three twenty I P C, on the other hand, defines grievous hurt under eight clauses. What are the eight clauses? Just quick recap. First clause is emasculation. Second is permanent privation of vision of either of the eyes. Third is permanent privation of hearing of either of the ears. Fourth is permanent privation of any MJ. MJ for member or joint. Fifth me kya karna hai? Reduce the power of MJ due to any injury. There is destruction of power of MJ. So these are the five clauses. Six clauses: permanent disfiguration of head or face. Seventh is fracture or dislocation of any bone or tooth. And we remember this. We memorize this with the help of this trick na. That fracture symbol has number seven hidden. So yes. Causing a fracture or dislocation of any bone or tooth has to be number seven. Has to be clause seven. Why we have to remember in the same sequence? Another AIMS exam question. Clauses two, three, six, seven were given to you, and you were to match with their statements. What is clause two? Do a matching. Permanent privation of vision of either of the eyes. Three is related to hearing of either of the ear. Six is permanent disfiguration of head or face. Seven is seven we know. Fracture or dislocation of any bone or tooth. What is the eighth clause? Any hurt which endangers life or which causes either of the two things for twenty days. Which two things? Either the person goes in severe bodily pain in any part of the body, or the person is unable to follow his or her ordinary pursuits for a period of twenty days. For a period of twenty days. Okay. Now, in between, what is twenty one and twenty two? What is twenty one and twenty two? They are defining. This was asked in FMG exams. Three twenty one IPC. They are defining this word voluntary. So the word voluntary causing hurt is defined in twenty one, and three twenty two IPC defines voluntarily causing grievous hurt is punishable. So unless the injury is produced voluntarily, punishment is not prescribed. Na. So they define the word voluntary, and twenty three defines the punishment for causing hurt. 25 defines punishment for causing grievous hurt 24 defines punishment for hurt by dangerous weapon or dangerous means and 26 is grievous hurt by dangerous weapon or dangerous means so these are punishment sections for causing hurt hurt by dangerous weapon grievous hurt grievous hurt by dangerous weapon isme se sabse important section kaun sa hai 326 this has been separately asked in pgi exams multiple times So these are important sections. I hope it is clear. What do you mean by dangerous weapon? Any weapon which is of imminent threat to life. Use of any animal to create an injury. Any weapon used for shooting, cutting, shooting, or stabbing. Use of fire. Use of heated substance. All these are dangerous weapon. अगर मुझे tough question बनाना हो तो मैं क्या पूछूँगा पता है? Dangerous weapon or means is defined in which IPC? डेंजरस वेपन को डिफाइन कौन से सेक्शन में किया गया 324, 324 आईपीसी में पनिशमेंट तो डिफाइंड है ही हर्ट बाय डेंजरस वेपन का एंड इसी में डिफाइंड है कि डेंजरस वेपन एंड मींस क्या होते व्हाट आर दे ठीक है आई होप इट इज क्लियर चलो मूव एंड व्हिच इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड एट एनडीपीएस सब्सटेंस मल्टीपल ऑप्शंस कैन बी करेक्ट मल्टीपल ऑप्शंस कैन बी करेक्ट कौन सा इंक्लूड नहीं होता ये तो पता है आपको शराब शराब को नहीं रखते तो अल्कोहल एंड निकोटिन दे आर नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन एनडीपीएस सब्सटेंस वेर एज कोकेन कैनाबिस ओपियम एंड पॉपिस्ट्रॉ एंड एनी प्रोडक्ट्स प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम दीज एजेंट्स दे आर इंक्लूडेड इन नार्कोटिक ड्रग एंड साइकोट्रॉपिक सब्सटेंसेज एक्ट फॉर्मुलेटेड इन नाइनटीन 
and there are this is the old question of INICT is uh, AIMS exam when the exams used to be separate pick the true statement about NDPS act so remember two or three important lines this act was first formulated in 1985 and according to this act different punishments are there for different offenses what can be the different offenses there can be consumption related offense possession related offense cultivation related offense commercial dealing related offense so the punishments are different and there are different punishments also based on quantity of the substance this quantity is mentioned as small quantity and commercial quantity in the act itself what is a small and what is commercial is not important at least we should remember that there are different punishments based on different types of offenses and different quantities of the products okay what is poppy straw the dry husk of unripe poppy capsule from where opium has been extracted some traces of opium will still be there now so that dry poppy capsule from where opium is extracted is called as poppy straw otherwise people will start selling poppy straw so that is why it was it has to be kept in narcotic drug place i hope it is clear kya nahi hai what is not there alcohol and nicotine now come to this is another vip area ho sakta hai fir se question aaye you can get a question from this area again it is so favorite topic so pick the multiple correct options giving you half a minute jaldi se true about burns as shown in image which of the following is true this is a repeat pgi exam question i picked it uh, from the last 5 years 5 years back this question was particularly asked and after that uh, here and there you see questions related from this topic along these five lines itself batao batao kon batayega sabse pehle kon batayega answer true word burns as shown in image so these are filigree burns also called as arborescent burns chronographic burns or lichtenberg flower burns so sabse pehle to inke synonyms yaad rakhne so e is the correct statement theek okay? hai are they brownish pink in color yes their usual color mentioned in literature is brownish pink this is also true do they follow lymphatic vessels nerves and major vessels blood vessels lymph vessels or nerves answer is no this is wrong do they fade out itself are they self limiting in 24 to 48 hours yes are they seen in all cases of lightning burns totally wrong they are seen in 30% cases of lightning burns isn't it these are the lines of your notes na that these burns filigree burns also called as chronographic burns or arborescent burns they are seen in like 30% lightning cases in survivors they fade out in 24 to 48 hours and they don't travel here the lightning current does not travel along major nerves and vessels and usually the color is brownish pink correct na and never confuse this with marbling in marbling na you will be shown a dead body lying flat on the table in filigree burn cases na they show you a living person so never confuse this with marbling this is another common sense to be applied that is yes, the person is surviving the person is a survivor in marbling you will see signs of putrefaction also why because marbling is seen at 36 to 48 hours when the dead body will be having lots of greenish blackish discoloration over the skin too along with the prominent veins answer this one another question from polyvalent anti snake venom what is true about single single best answer what is true about psv answer kon batayega 
सबसे पहले कौन बताएगा वट इज ट्रू अबाउट पी एच डी पोलीवेलेंट क्यों बोलते हैं बिकॉज इट इज इफेक्टिव अगेंस्ट फोर स्नेक बाइट कॉमन कोबरा कॉमन क्रैथ रसल्स वाइपर एंड सॉल स्किल्ड वाइपर बट इट कैन बी यूज इन एनी स्नेक बाइट ऑलवेज रिमेम वॉट इज ट्रू अबाउट पी एच डी सिंगल बेस्ट आंसर ये सब चीजें ना पता होनी चाहिए सी दीज आर रिपीट क्वेश्चन दे हैव अ टेंडेंसी टू कम अगेन एंड दिस वॉज आस्ड इन आई थिंक ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड अगेन दिस सेम सॉर्ट ऑफ सिमिलर क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ड इन नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सी द को रिलेशन सींग द को रिलेशन जस्ट आफ्टर वन ईयर इट वॉज रिपीटेड तो ऑलरेडी स्नेक बाइट मैनेजमेंट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव रेड दिस टॉपिक नाइसली Snake bite management. What to do? What not to do? So here the correct answer goes with option C. Why everyone is marking B? Never waste your time in doing any sensitivity testing before ASV giving. It ASV indication. What is? What is the indication to give ASV? There are two indications. One is increasing local bite side symptoms of toxicity, like increasing reddening over a period of time, increasing swelling over a period of time. Hai na? So that is one indication. Or if there is any sign of systemic toxicity, be it neurotoxicity, be it vascular toxicity, be it muscular toxicity, then na to hamen yehi hai. This is the treatment or antidote of choice for a snake venom. This is going to counter the active venom. Earlier you give, better it is for the patient. The effects which have been produced, they won't be reversed, but the further effects will be countered. That is why the MHF W guidelines are there, na, followed throughout India. So they clearly write: never waste your time in doing any lab testing or sensitivity testing. In fact, they have clearly written: if at all a patient goes in sensitivity anaphylactic reactions, they have said that tell your nursing staff to get a ADR injection prepared and give 0.5 milligram ADR. And if the person settles. after that you have to give asv itself that is the treatment of choice so never waste your time in doing sensitivity testing and the dose has to be same what is the initial dose 8 to 10 vials irrespective of age and gender of the person because the amount of venom injected will be same snake will not bias na that the person is a female i will inject less venom the person is a kid i will inject less venom the amount of venom injected will be same in every person so initial dose has to be same so this is wrong this is also wrong कोबरा वेनम कहां पर एक्ट करता है कोबरा वेनम ऑलवेज एक्ट पोस्ट सेनेप्टिकली नेवर प्री सेनेप्टिकली इट इज द कॉमन क्रैप वेनम व्हिच एक्ट्स प्री सेनेप्टिकली कॉमन क्रैप एक्ट्स प्री सेनेप्टिकली नॉट कोबरा दिस इज आल्सो रॉन्ग सो सी इज माय करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है आई होप थिंग्स आर क्लियर टेक बाइट मैनेजमेंट सबको क्लियर है ना Many of you answered this wrong. Revise कर लेंगे एक बार जल्दी से quick just the points. I'll be telling the points. I will not be writing anything. It will just be like a story. करना है या आपने notes से revise करोगे? If you have the notes, revise it from your notes. Next question रहते हैं. Let us come to next question. Because the topic in itself is a big topic. If something problematic is there, na, just let me know. So end me revise kar lenge snake bite management. ठीक है? Let us go through the questions first. In the end, just uh, let, recall me. ठीक है? Snake bite management. I will tell you as a story, and it will go into your deeper neurons. तो इसको सॉल्व करो 18 ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल वाज सेक्सुअली असोल्टेड बाय अ मेल वाइट स्टेन वाज प्रेजेंट दिस इज अनदर वीआईपी टॉपिक ये स्टेन वाला ना टॉपिक एकदम वीआईपी टॉपिक फिर से आए इस बार भी आया नीट पीजी 23 में भी आया येलो कलर नीडल शेप दीस आर बोनस क्वेश्चंस ना एक छोटा सा टॉपिक व्हिच कैन बी रिवाइज्ड इन 2 मिनट्स एंड यू आर श्योर टू गेट वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम देयर नेवर लीव सच टॉपिक्स दिस इज द स्मार्ट थिंग व्हिच वी नीड टू डू So here the correct answer goes with this spermin. So in Barbarios, the crystals are yellow color, needle-shaped crystals, and they are made up of spermin picrate to be exact. 
experiment degrade to base n. Let us revise this topic in one minute. How we have to revise the query to a policeman is when he receives a red stain from a sample from uh, a crime scene, his query will be, sir, whether it is blood stain or cranberry juice. So I will tell him that yes. Let us first do the screening of the sample with the help of luminol spray which has got very high sensitivity and this luminol spray is made up of sodium carbonate and sodium perborate as the reagent. If I spray this thing over area where I have a suspicion that blood should be there, I will get a bluish luminescence for a period of 45 seconds. I have screened my sample and then I will recall with my PSM knowledge that screening test should have high sensitivity. Thereafter, the policeman will ask you, sir, what is the most confirmatory test to tell that the sample is blood and nothing else? So now I will tell the policeman that yes. Now I will apply a test called spectroscopy because this test will detect hemoglobin pigment in the sample, whatever may be the pigmentary form of hemoglobin, like the sample could have oxyhemoglobin. If it was petrified sample, it will have sulfhemoglobin. Different hemoglobin pigments gives different band patterns. So yes, that is why it is most confirmatory. And with my PSM knowledge, I will remember that yes, confirmatory tests should have high specificity. Thereafter, I will recall that TT bat, table tennis bat is red in color on one side. And there are two microscopic tests. One is Steekman's and another one is Takayama with the help of which I can prepare crystals and I can look under microscope. In Tickman's, the output is light brown rhombic shaped crystals. In Takayama, the output is pink color feathery crystals. My topic is revised. Another one minute for white stain analysis. What are the reagents in Tickman's? This is a repeat all India exam question. What is the reagent in Tickman's? Glacial acetic acid and sodium chloride and sodium two. These are the two important reagents. Sodium chloride is namak salt. What is the reagent in Takayama? PNG. P for pyridine, N for sodium hydroxide and G for glucose. Correct? So my red stain topic is done. Come to white stain analysis. Now here the query of the policeman will be sir, whether it is seminal stain or vanilla ice cream. That is the query of the policeman. So to solve the query of the policeman, you will tell the policeman that yes, let us do the screening of the sample by ultraviolet light. If I get a bluish fluorescence, I will screen the sample to be semen and then I will apply the most confirmatory test to confirm that the sample is semen and nothing else. So what should be there in the sample that it is semen and not vanilla ice cream? Spermatozoa, the presence of one spermatozoa which can be looked under microscope, under microscope, this. But the policeman will now come and tell you, so the person who is a known case of aguspermia. What happens in aguspermia? In aguspermia, where there is absence of spermatozoa, so there we look for raised levels of, okay, prostate to hoga. It will be there in the person. I will look at raised levels of prostate specific antigen, to be exact, P30. Why it is called P30? Because the weight of this antigen is 30 kilo daltons. Along with this, if I see raised levels of one of the prostatic enzymes, which is usually raised in the seminal stains, that is acid phosphatase. I will tell the policeman, okay, sperm nahi tha, but prostatic secretions are suggestive that the sample is semen and nothing else. Then the policeman comes to you and tells you that the person is a known surgical case of prostatectomy. Prostate surgically remove kar diya gaya. So now what you will answer? You will tell the policeman that yes, seminal vesicle to hoga. So seminal vesicle specific antigens will be analyzed now which are high, which are in high concentration in seminal stains. So this is how you have to answer based on the lines of the question. Now there are two important microscopic tests more for framing MCQs practically they are not useful because they give false positive reactions. What are those microscopic tests? I will recall that the boy will have semen, semen stain. So I will remember that these tests are boyfriend test, BF test, boyfriend test. 
B for Barbarios, F for Florence. What is the output in Barbarios? Yellow color needle shaped crystals made up of sperm and picrate. What is the output in Florence? Dark brown rhombic crystals of choline iodide. What is the source of sperm in the sample? Prostate or seminal vesicle? Answer. What is the source of sperm in the sample? This has also been asked in INICT exam. Here the question was related to sperm in. Next time they will ask, what is the source of sperm in the sample? Picric acid we add from outside as a reagent. We mix it with the sample. What is the source of sperm in? Prostate or seminal vesicle? I will recall that prostate has got R alphabet. Spermin has got R alphabet. Barbarios has got lots of R alphabet. And I will correlate that yes, here my answer will go with prostate. What is the source of choline here? In choline iodide crystals, the source of choline, the source of choline will be an organ having seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicle. So I will focus that yes, here I have to focus towards L of seminal vesicle. Correlates with L of choline. That also correlates with L of florence. And I will minimize my silly mistake. The moment you minimize your silly mistakes, your rank improves. I want all of you to have good ranks. Okay? Is this topic revised now? Done and dusted? Let us move on. Most common mode of inorganic lead poisoning in industrial workers. Now, you know that industrial worker is an adult person. He will not consume something that he lead poisoning. He will not consume something. So, all these options. Where absorption, contaminated hands or ingestion is there, I can rule out. By ruling out option, I can think over that yes, if the person is working in battery making industry where lead has got a uses or paint making industry where lead has got a uses, in the atmosphere there will be lead dust particles. So, most common mode for a worker should be inhalation. But if I frame the question that what is the most common mode of lead poisoning? In child, so in a child, your answer will go with ingestion. Why? Because usually in child, lead poisoning occurs due to licking of soft toys. Soft toys have got the paint material. That paint has lead in it. So yes, the child over a period of months can become a case of chronic lead poisoning. What are the synonyms of chronic lead poisoning? It is also called plumbism. Also called Saturnism. So these are the synonyms. Plumbism, Saturnism or minor stasis. Next one. This was a recent question. Asked from uh, iron poisoning in your INICT exam. Answer the question. This is how you have to answer. First of all, you have to make out the correct sequence and then you have to mark it correctly to get your full marks. Answer. Don't count. I will cover all the questions of uh, six sessions. Till now, almost uh, we are half halfway. We have done half. Correct answer goes with. So let me try to recall, and then we will come to this question. Try to recall iron poisoning, acute poisoning occurs in how many stages? Initially, the patient goes in stage 1, which is said to be GIT stage, which lasts for first 6 hours, 0 to 6 hours, where the person will have features of GI bleeding, gastric necrosis and all those features. Then the patient goes in stage 2, which is said to be a stage of partial recovery, or I say asymptomatic stage, 
or partial recovery stage from 6 to 24 hours where it will appear as if the child has improved but then comes the complication stage stage 3 is going to involve cns cvs and metabolic complications in 24 to 48 hours then the child will go in a stage 4 where he will present with hepatic complications so jaundice like picture will be there in the child hyperbilirubinemia in the next two to four days and stage five is complication stage delayed complications occur from five days to weeks mainly gi complications why because due to gastric necrosis in git stage on about fifth day the cells which love to induce fibrosis macrophages will be coming in those areas and they will induce fibrous bands throughout esophagus throughout intestines so yes now the person will need lots of surgeries to remove those fibrous bands so let us now see asymptomatic gastric bleeding should be stage one or a asymptomatic should be b then liver failure should be c pyloric stenosis goes with delayed gi complications this should be d so the correct sequence is it's, here the option is like this yes b is first the moment you see b is first now you have ruled out two options isn't it they are also marvelous questions they are also bonus questions you will be in a position to solve the question and the moment you see GI complications is the last thing to happen. I will mark C as my answer of choice, even with 50% knowledge. And we know the correct sequence. So remember the correct sequence and remember the antidote desferioxamine misylate. Answer this one. A person in police custody was placed in prone position with his wrist and ankles bound behind his back and secured with a rope. This method is called. Even if you apply common sense, no, something has been tied. Hands and feet has been tied over back. There is only one option which is tying word in it. So I will do a smart work and I will mark this. I will make an attempt at this question. Because I have ruled out one option. That phalanga is beating over souls. This I know. And carotid sleeper hold in choke hold goes with this area. This is not going with time. There are questions now which are attemptable. Attempt such questions. Don't leave key. You have not heard about hog tie. All other friends, they have not heard about. But if you mark it correctly, you will get one extra. Rank and answer questions. You know? So phalanga is one of the torture techniques where, where there is beating over souls. Then beating over ears is called telephona. Telephona is beating over ears to torture a person. These are two repeat questions. Phalanga is also called is synonym. Palanga is also called bastinado. Now, what is carotid sleeper hold and in choke hold? Carotid sleeper hold is something like this. There is a person who is being restrained from behind, like this, with the cubital fossa in the midline. So, what happens is high chances of carotid compression is there. So, the word used is carotid sleeper hold. What is in choke holds? Here the person is restrained from behind. His neck is restrained like this. So usually what is compressed is the airways, anterior airways. So this is what is called in choke holds. Okay. Hawk time kya hota hai? The person is lying in a prone position, something like this, with his hands and feet over his back, and they have been tight, and the person is lying in a prone position. Fingerprint ridges appear by answer appear kabota shuru kabota process appears means the process starts by what time answer goes with remember appears by fourth month and complete development is by sixth month intrauterine life. This we know. Fourth month is 16 weeks. So the moment I see 16th week, pe appear ho jata hai. 
तो माय बेस्ट आंसर शुड गो विथ 12 टू 16 वीक्स थोड़ा सा पहले हो सकता है 15 टू 16 वीक्स आई विल मार्क दिस एज माय आंसर ऑफ चॉइस नथिंग एल्स द मोमेंट आई राइट फिंगरप्रिंट रिजेस डेवलप्स बाय व्हाट आई मीन टू आस्क दिस दिस वैल्यू 6 into 4 is 24 and there your best answer will go with 20 to 24 weeks okay so it develops by 20 to 24 weeks it appears by 12 to 16 in intrauterine life which of the following is used to identify the vaginal cells on the glass penis during the examination of accused of rape and this we know this you all know this is logol's iodine test logol's iodine test if i take sw swab samples from the penile shaft of the accused if in the swaps female vaginal epithelial cells are there these vaginal epithelial cells they are rich in glycogen and if i react this swab having vaginal epithelial cells containing glycogen with lugol iodine i will get a brown color change and i will say the test is positive but given the fact that the accused has not used a condom if the accused has used a condom na, what i will detect over the penile shaft of the accused lubricant material what is the purpose of tolvidine blue tolvidine blue is used to highlight the micro injuries of genitals what is precipitating test this is a test to differentiate the species of the sample be it blood sample or seminal stain species differentiation can be done with the help of precipitating some enzyme based tests are there dna based tests are there what is florence test to analyze this is one of the microscopic tests to say that the sample is semen or not. What is the output? Dark brown rhombic crystals of choline iodine. The source of choline in the sample? Seminal vesicles. Iodine is added as a reagent. Answer this one. Asked in one of the recent INICT exam itself. They are very fond of asking poisonous plants as image directly as image based questions. Identify the poisonous plant having yellow flowers and seeds which are contained in prickly capsules. This is also called prickly poppy. This is also called prickly poppy. And the scientific name of prickly poppy is Argimon mexicana. The seeds of Argimon mexicana, they contain which active principle? Seeds of Argimon mexicana, they resemble mustard seeds in appearance. And that is why they are used to adulterate mustard seeds. But mustard oil is a consumable oil. Oil, na? we consume that. It is non-toxic. But Argimon Mexicana oil prepared from Mexicana seeds, they are toxic because they contain a toxic principle called as, what is the name of that act? Toxic principle? Bata, bata, jaldi. Who will tell the answer? Which leads to, which disease state? What is the name of that disease state? It leads to epidemic drops in her due to sanguinary. So, how we recall all this together? Adulteration things, Lucknow Development Authority, L for Lathyrism in UP, Lucknow Development Authority is there now. So, LDA to be remembered like this, and then recall. That L for lathyrism, D for dropsy, A for ascites. This lathyrism can be osteolathyrism or neurolathyrism. This dropsy is epidemic dropsy. This ascites is endemic ascites. And in UP, there is a political party also in the name of BSP. Try to recall B for BOA or BOA, beta amino, beta oxalyl. Beta oxalyl amino propionic acid. Okay. And S for sanguinary. And P for pyrolyzidine alkaloids. And our pyrolyzidine alkaloids, which are hepatotoxic. This will help us recall. These are asked as questions. Cerebra thibetia. Cerebra thibetia flower is like this. Cerebra thibetia flowers, you have seen now. They are like this. Here the flower is like this. See the difference. Here the flower is yellow color. But cerebra thibetia, na, you will see leaves also. The leaves will be thin, slender like this. Here see, it is prickly. Everything is having thorns, pricks. That is why the name used is prickly poppy. 
easily differentiation can be done. I hope you all have seen cerebra thibetia. Yellow color and pink color. Yellow one is called uh, yellow oleander or cerebra thibetia. Pink one is called nerium odor. No? That uh, these poisonous plant PDF is already there na, in the telegram group. So they, from there you can revise uh, poisonous plants together. All the images of poisonous plants and seeds. Answer this one. In a case of alleged murder of A by B at a certain place on a particular day and time, he saw B with a knife on that day at that place a few minutes before the murder. He states this in the court of law. What is this type of evidence? Recent question, INICT exam. Yeah, the correct answer goes with indirect evidence. To be exact, this is what is called a circumstantial evidence. If you have seen, if the witness has seen something in relation to a crime, if the witness has actually seen the crime occurring, he will become an eyewitness or common witness of the case. Which evidence he will be acquiring then? Direct evidence. Indirect is indirectly related to the case. Indirect things can be seen and those indirect seen things are called circumstantial evidences. Indirect things, evidences can be acquired in the form of hearing something. Those indirect evidences which have been heard are called hearsay. Haji Kal Mumbai are Lokhand rich people ke saath. We will have Lokhand rich session. Means positive rich people, positive logon ke saath positive session. Ye topic to clear na, this I have covered time and again. In one shot revision also, I have covered it in detail. So if anyone is having any confusion, na, one shot revision jo abhi hua tha na, neat PG se pehle, go through that session. There, this topic has been covered in detail. In the initial part itself. Answer this question, which of the following is associated with cocaine intoxication? Cocaine. Which of the following is associated with cocaine intoxication? Bola na, cocaine is a very important poison. Cocaine, then you have narcotic groups, agricultural groups, metallic groups. They are the three most common areas. Where the questions pick up. One more confusion will be removed. The previous question is AIMS exam. Ka. After this, na, just after this. Which of the following is associated with cocaine intoxication? Tingling and numbness. Hota hai. Hypertension, hota hai, hyperthermia, hota hai. cocaine leads to cocaine fever just like a atropin. Atropin leads to atropin fever. Na? The Dura poisoning cases may be dry hot skin ho jata hai due to atropin in the Dura seeds. So, all this to be correlated. Cocaine also leads to cocaine fever. Cocaine also uh, leads to midriasis, that is dilated pupil. So, ye nahi hoga na? constricted pupil, bradygadi, ye sab nahi hoga. So, A, B, C are true. Dekh lo A, B, C true kis mein? A, B, C, yes, A option. Answer. Which of the following is the treatment of choice in acute arsenic poisoning? Always, always, the moment you see dimer caprol. Remember, dimer caprol is another name for British anti lewisite British anti lewisite You know, during World War II, Britishers got an information that few countries are going to use lewisite gas, one of the nerve gases, which leads to blisters over his skin. So, they prepared the antidote for that. Lewisite gas had affinity for sulfidryl group of enzymes. So they prepared something which has got lots of unsaturated sulfidryl groups. So that is why it is also beneficial for arsenic because arsenic is also in love with sulfidryl group of enzymes. And because this bulk contains unsaturated sulfidryl groups, more and more of arsenic will now combine in with bal to form a chelate complex and it will be excreted from the body. I was telling you now one previous year question is there which is a sort of uh, trouble for you. At many places, different, different places, different, different answers. So let us cover that area. They asked a question in AIMS exam that there is a metallic poison which has given rise to proteinuria and myalgia. This was the recall which could be done by the students. And then you were given options in the form of arsenic, lead, mercury and cadmium to be picked. Now, they go. all the metallic poisons, they are toxic to kidneys. This is correct. Okay? 
अगर मैं बोलूं प्रोटीन यूरिया क्या ये सारे पॉइजन करा सकते करा सकते और कम टू मैलजिया विच मेटेलिक पॉइजन विल हैव लार्जेस्ट टेंडेंसी टू कॉज मायलजिया और मसल पेन्स तो इफ आई गो इन टू डीपर डिटेल्स ना लिटिल बिट डीपर आई विल रिकॉल दैट वन ऑफ द सल्फिड्रल ग्रुप ऑफ एंजाइम्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वाइटल एंजाइम्स दैट इज पीडीएच कॉम्प्लेक्स इज देयर पायरोबेट डिहाइड्रोजन इज कॉम्प्लेक्स इज देयर इट इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री एंजाइम सब यूनिट्स डीएडी डीएडी करके याद रखते हैं फर्स्ट वन इज पायरोबेट डिहाइड्रोजन इज सेकंड वन इज असाइलेज और असाइल ट्रांसफरेज लाइपोआमाइड असाइल ट्रांसफरेज पूरा ना याद रहे तो ए भी याद रहेगा तो असाइल ट्रांसफरेज असाइल ट्रांसफरेज विल बी रिकॉर्ड एंड थर्ड वन इज लाइपोआमाइड डिहाइड्रोजेनेस ये तो हमें पता है नाउ दिस असाइल ट्रांसफरेज जो सेकंड सब यूनिट है वहां पर होता है लाइपोइक एसिड इसीलिए एंजाइम का भी नाम है लाइपोआमाइड असाइल ट्रांसफरेज दिस लाइपोइक एसिड इज एन अटैचमेंट विद टू सल्फेड्राइल ग्रुप्स व्हाट इज द पोजीशन ऑफ दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स पीडीएच कॉम्प्लेक्स वेयर आर्सेनिक इनहिबिट्स दिस एंजाइम दिस कैन बी एक्ट एज अ इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन Yes, it is this place. Matlab E2 subunit, which is made up of acyl transferase. There, arsenic will inhibit this enzyme because it will combine with the sulfhydryl groups of lipoic acid, which is present in second subunit. Ab, hamen kya pata hai ki PDH complex? What is the purpose of PDH complex? If a person consumes glucose, this glucose is converted into pyruvate. This pyruvate goes through this PDH complex and forms acetyl coenzyme A. ये बेसिक चीज वी नो नाउ आई से दैट इन आर्सेनिक पॉइजनिंग पीडीएच कॉम्प्लेक्स इज नॉट एबल टू फंक्शन पर्सन इज टेकिंग ग्लूकोज बट दिस पायरोवेट इज नॉट गेटिंग फर्दर यूटिलाइज्ड सो लॉट्स ऑफ पायरोवेट विल बी देयर एंड वी नो थ्रू बायोकेमिस्ट्री दैट थ्रू कोरीज साइकिल नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन इज लॉट्स ऑफ लैक्टिक एसिड इन द बॉडी अगर लैक्टिक एसिड किसी भी रीजन से बॉडी में बन रहा है तो क्या मसल पेन होगा मसल टेंडरनेस वेरी हाई इंटेंसिटी टेंडरनेस इट इज दिस लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस विच गिव्स राइस टू मसल टेंडरनेस ये हमें पता होना चाहिए दैट वॉज द बेसिस ऑफ दैट क्वेश्चन आई होप इट इज क्लियर बिकॉज आर्सनिक इज मैक्सिमली इन लव विथ सल्फ्यूट्राइल ग्रुप लेड इज मैक्सिमली इन लव विथ ही सिंथेसिस है ना So that is why the best answer to this question will be arsenic. Cadmium leads to bone pains. If the question is na proteinuria and bone pains, or osteomalacia like picture is being seen, so best answer will be cadmium. And because of the intense bone pains, cadmium poisoning is also called Aucher's disease or Tai Tai disease. I hope it is clear. This is a old question, but it can be asked as a new question. in any form in which we have covered answer this one a chronic arsenic poisoning case has come to hospital again the treatment of choice remains bal british anti lubicide also called as dimercaprol and the route of administration is always intramuscular injections never iv why because bal contains fatty acid oil if you give it through iv route what will happen to the patient is fat embolism never iv always intramuscular so which of the following clinical features is correct about chronic arsenic poisoning एल्ट्रिक मीजलाइन कराता है यस आर्सेनिक इन क्रॉनिक आर्सेनिक पॉइजनिंग व्हाट हैपेंस आर्सेनिक इज रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड फ्रॉम ब्लड टू क्रैटिन रिच टिश्यूज लाइक स्किन हेयर नेल्स एंड बोन्स तो यस इन नेल्स इट कॉजेस एल्ट्रिक मीजलाइन फॉर्मेशन व्हाइट कलर ट्रांसवर्स लाइंस इन स्किन इट लीड्स टू हाइपर कैरोटोसिस पिक्चर हाइपर कैरोटोसिस मींस थिकनिंग ऑफ स्ट्रेटम कॉर्नियम अलोंग विद दैट रेन ड्रॉप पिगमेंटेशन आल्सो अकर्स then it leads to asymmetrical sensory motor neuropathy or i can summarize peripheral neuritis correct luminous vomiting luminous poison is phosphorus phosphorus leads to luminescent fecus and vomitus wrong to say that arsenic is a luminous poison and yes when it deposits in bone it leads to generalized bone marrow depression which can give rise to pancytopenia this also we know so yes 1 2 3 and 5 option c is my correct answer correct आइडेंटिफाई द मैकेनिकल इंजरी ये तो सबको पता होगा बच्चे बच्चे को पता द मोमेंट यू सी मल्टीपल सुपरफिशियल कट्स एंड फ्यू डीपर कट्स ओवर द फ्रंट ऑफ फोर आर्म और फ्रंट ऑफ रिस्ट दिस गोज विद टेंटेटिव कट्स आल्सो कॉल्ड एज हेजिटेशन कट्स एंड दे आर यूजुअली एसोसिएटेड विद सुसाइडल टेंडेंसीज एंड व्हिच पर्सनालिटी डिसऑर्डर्स आर प्रोन टू शो दिस बिहेवियर बॉर्डरलाइन पर्सनालिटी डिसऑर्डर्स ठीक है attempt to suicide previously was an offense under 309 ipc but right now since 
it is not an offense what is the most common cause of suicide overall cause is depression what is the most common method of suicide overall in india hanging what is the most commonly used suicidal poison overall india is agricultural based country opc poisons but this answer will change if particularly they ask what is the most commonly used suicidal poison in north indian population based on ncrb data your answer will go with self cause theek hai na revised answer this one a patient was brought to emergency with gcs code i will tell you what can be asked from this root question which was asked recently what is the most likely diagnosis so you all know that gcs code 3 means severe severe condition he was intubated and sent for ncct ct is very good to catch hemorrhage the moment you see ct to be normal all the options which has hemorrhage in it can be ruled out hai na this is one way of solving the question suppose you are unaware of this question of this topic of diffuse axonal injury but by seeing this line that ct is normal hemorrhage options are ruled out you will mark your answer directly also we should remember that if ct is normal and the person's gc score is telling me that it is a severe head injury case we should think towards diffuse axonal injury and if you get mri of the person done you will see petechial hemorrhages that you all know in the white matter what is the definition of di anyone what is the definition of di suppose i create a question that di is defined as traumatic axonal injury traumatic axonal injury of minimum how many axons 1 2 3 and 4 batao answer these are your options ai occurs due to high speed deceleration injuries because brain is contain brain is present in a closed cavity what is the definition the definition of di is fit when there is traumatic axonal injury of minimum how many axonal regions axonal regions answer four four or more than four always remember this is the cut off the okay. so di ko mild moderate or severe mein bhi classify karte na if the person is unconscious for a period of less than 6 hours this remains a case of concussion for us mild di kab bolte hain when the person unconsciousness is beyond 6 hours till 24 hours moderate kab bolte hain jab ye unconsciousness with all this condition ct normal mri pe petechial hemorrhages to so moderate kab bolenge when the unconsciousness is more than 24 hours with brain stem intact means brain stem reflexes are present severe kab bolte hain severe di more than 24 hours unconsciousness with brain stem functions gone ho gaya na simple classification remember this classification and if you do histopathology of the brain now these petechial hemorrhages on white matter which were seen on mri they are also seen during autopsy if i take section of the brain na i can show you petechial hemorrhages in the white matter in a case of di and yes if i send that brain for histopathology a pathologist will give me a finding that over the cut end of the axons i am seeing some spherical growth like this these are the cut axons over the cut ends some colon appearance is there and this is also referred to as retraction ball appearance remember this finding this is a histopath finding in the brain of a dait chalo aage badhte hain acetyl parabenzoquinolinin is a toxic metabolite of which of the following shortly called as napqui and acetyl parabenzoquinolimin is a toxic metabolite of pcm paracetam एंटीडोट फॉर पैरासिटामोल सबको पता है एंटीडोट इज एन एसेटाइल सिस्टीन नैक इसका आंसर मिनिमम पनिशमेंट फॉर डेथ ऑफ द पेशेंट बाई स्प्यूरियस ट्रक्स मिनिमम पनिशमेंट हियर द आंसर गोज विद लाइफ इंप्रेजनमेंट ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर वॉट इज द मिनिमम पनिशमेंट फॉर डेथ और ग्रीवस हर्ट कॉस्ट टू द पेशेंट बाई स्प्यूरियस ट्रक आंसर इज मिनिमम इज टेन मैक्सिमम इज लाइफ इंप्रेजनमेंट यहां पर चूंकि आंसर टेन नहीं था इसलिए आंसर लाइफ इंप्रेजनमेंट है okay so minimum is 10 years maximum is life in prison what is spurious drugs so always remember this this is a very hot favorite area drug and cosmetic act for inict examiners mainly we have a drug and cosmetic act which was formulated in 
देयर आफ्टर अमेंडमेंट्स और चेंजेस हैव बीन डन दिस इज द एक्ट ना मेडिको लीगल एक्ट तो चेंजेस हैव बीन डन इन 2005 2007 तो व्हाट चेंजेस वर डन न्यू सेक्शंस वर एडेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सेक्शन 17 17a एंड 17b सेक्शन दिस सेक्शन 17 tells us that i will define misbranded drugs 17a a for adulterated drugs were defined separately and b for spurious drugs this section defines spurious drugs what is misbranding mislabeling when the label is something else label is saying there is a question also we will see that question and we will cover this topic theek hai abhi aayega wo question तो मिस चलो इसको कवर कर लेते हैं ना टॉपिक कवर कर लेते हैं क्वेश्चन बी विल रश तो इफ देयर इज 650 मिलीग्राम लेबल मेंशनिंग द ड्रग स्ट्रिप इज मेंशनिंग 650 मिलीग्राम पीसीएम है बट ऑन एनालिसिस व्हाट इज फाउंड इज 250 या कम उससे भी कम तो दिस इज मिस ब्रांडिंग इफ द लेबल वाज 650 650 पीसीएम है साथ में क्या है साथ में क्या फिफ्टी डेज decomposed substance ya fir toxic agent now the pcm is adulterated drug according to drug and cosmetic act with section section 17a 17b says i will define spurious drugs if it is labeling as 650 but it is something else it was found to contain ibuprofen instead of acetaminophen so this is something else as for substitute substitute drugs are spurious drugs these are the keywords and when you will see the question if you are not seen it you will understand how the question has been asked so this was the question paracetamol was branded as 500 mg but contains 250 mg after analysis with regards to drug and cosmetic act this drug will be called as the moment you see mislabeling go towards misbranded the moment you see that paracetamol 500 mg was there along with some toxic agent was found adulterated drug. The moment you see it is lay, lines of the question as PCM 500 milligram तो नहीं था it was ibuprofen or something else curious drugs there is nothing called unethical drugs that was a dummy option given in the question answer this one one friend killed another because of having common girlfriend by compressing his nostrils and mouth while sitting on his chest what is the mechanism known as what is this mechanism known as this is what is called parking working in one word should be memorized as it is homicidal smothering plus traumatic asphyxia smothering is external compression of mouth and nose by any means by hands by pillows traumatic asphyxia is external compression of the chest by anything which is a heavy object or heavy subject what is overlaying overlaying is defined as accidental smothering plus traumatic asphyxia mainly seen in newborns when the newborn is surrounded by bulky parents heavily built parents so yes the that can happen accidental smothering and traumatic asphyxia by the heavy parents with a new answer this one a patient was brought dead with multiple small puncture wounds over right anterior chest wall multiple abrasions lacerations over left lower abdominal wall what is the reason it is due to flying objects acting as flying missiles so yes the correct answer goes with option c to be exact which type of bomb blast injury primary secondary or tertiary This type of bomb blast injury will be this primary, secondary, tertiary, or quaternary. क्या होगा ये? This one will be labeled as secondary bomb blast injury. All the injuries due to the initial shock wave or barotrauma they are labeled as primary bomb blast injuries. All the injuries to the victims produced due to fall of building or collisions they are labeled as tertiary bomb blast injuries. all the injuries due to fire burns they are labeled fire or smoke inhalational injuries are happening to the victims in a bomb blast case they are labeled as quaternary bomb blast injuries in relation to secondary bomb blast injuries always remember due to flying missiles what usually happens to the victims is a triad of abrasions bruises and lacerations over different parts of the body this was for the first time seen by marshals and called as marshals triad so marshals triad is usually associated with which type of bomb blast injuries secondary It is a triad of abrasions, bruises, and that. Answer this one. This was asked in 2021. Again in 2022. See the repetition. So, which of the following are rules of insanity? The 
correct answer goes with one and three. The Ashley's rule is used to determine sex of a person from sternum bone. Murphy's rule though, our subjects are related. Nahin. So what is the correct answer from the given code? One and three. A will be your correct answer. So this is the comprehensive list of all the tests, legal tests for insanity. Earliest test was good and evil test. Just have a look. Just have a look. Don't stress ki mujhe ye sab yaad rakhne. Don't stress that I have to memorize all this. Just have a look. Then came wild beast test. James Hadfield tried. Edward Oxford tried. McNaughton's rule we all know. This is what we follow in India. Then there is IAT, irresistible impulse test. Then comes Durham's rule, Curran's rule, and ALI test, American Law Institute test. Overall, the best test for insanity all over the world is this last one. What we follow in India is McNaughton's rule. McNaughton's rule was formulated in which year? Answer. McNaughton's rule was formulated in which year? Answer is written over here, 1843. But if I frame a question that 84 IPC was formulated in which year? Your answer should be 1860 when all the IPC sections were made by Britishers. Britishers utilized one of their case judgments in the form of 84 IPC. When were all the IPCs made? 1860. This is a PGI question. There they asked McNaughton's rule was formulated in. Answer was 1843. Next time they can ask 84 IPC was formulated in. Never mark 1843 there, 1860. Nay Rajat, building fall, court, building fall, tertiary milena, hai, building fall and collisional injuries. Quaternary me jata hai, complications, complications like flame burns and smoke inhalation, inhalational injuries, flame burn injuries. Okay? At some places it is written that uh, building fall is quaternary or something. Building fall to be taken as tertiary. What is the approximate age of a person in year in whom the medial end of the clavicle is fused and the sternum body segments are completely fused? This is also a recent question. Answer goes with option D. For clavicle, always remember the primary ossification center appears in fifth week intrauterine line. Primary ossification appears by fifth week intrauterine line and it uses after 10 days okay this is for the mid shaft of the clavicle for medial end of the clavicle secondary ossification appears by 15 years and this fuses by 22 years okay this fuses by 22 years ye pata hona chahiye Sternum body segments to hume pata hai. Sternum ko agar ek bar draw kar lete. So recall will be easy. Sternum has got many bro sterni, body segments and ziphoid. These are the three parts. Uske baad body is divided into four segments. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. And third and fourth body segment, they ossify. This part ossifies at 15. Second and third body segment, 20. And first and second, 25 years. So now look at the question. All the sternum body segments are fused. The person age has to be more than 25. Our answer goes with more than. Now come to this one. Now few questions are left. Three or four. A patient comes to casualty with life threatening, and I am taking into account that you November 22 discussion you will watch. That is available in DBMC YouTube channel. That discussion I have done. So because it contains two session questions, so don't miss. Around 22, 24 questions are there. So do watch November 22 from the YouTube channel itself. It is available in the playlist of INI CT record. Now come to this question. Answer. A patient comes to casualty with life-threatening injuries. There was no time for consent. So during emergency, as doctors, we can go ahead with life saving surgeries according to 92 IPC. Okay? Ye bhi yaad rakhne. During emergency for life saving procedures, the doctor can go ahead with life saving procedures even without consent according to 92 IPC. Death of the patient occurred. Ab aapne kiya or death ho patient. Doctor is not responsible under which doctor. Ideally, it should be medical misadventure. 
but because it was not a given in the option so yes next best answer goes with doctrine of anticipation the doctor anticipated or calculated that risk is there but that procedure must have been necessary now to save the life of the patient so he was going ahead with life saving surgery with all precautions so the doctor is not responsible under which doctrine the single best answer goes with doctrine of anticipation because ril is something else ril is obvious fault done by your doctor like instruments left in the cavities swabs left in the cavities then surgery over wrong limb so if there is obvious fault done by your doctor then ril is applicable there is nothing called doctrine of conjugated consent dummy option doctrine of extended consent is not valid in our country this is almost synonymous to your blanket consent what is blanket consent at the time of admission consent is taken for every surgical or medical procedure which can be done by the doctor in good faith of the patient so this is not followed in our country in our country we have to take medicine people will take separate consent surgery people will take separate consent anesthesia department will take separate consent. so this is not followed in our country so here the single best answer goes with doctrine of anticipation also called as calculated risk doctrine one of the defenses for we doctors in negligence cases answer this one identify the injury shown in image the moment you see clean cut margins clean cut margins to hai na and there are no tissue connections so it has to be incised wound without any doubt it has to be incised wound ये सिंपल सिंगल सिंगल वन लाइनर क्वेश्चंस थे आस्ड हियर एंड देयर इन जिपमर एग्जाम पीजे एग्जाम सो आई हैव क्लब्ड दोस क्वेश्चंस फॉर यू ऑल ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर एसोसिएटेड विद बर्न्स ऑफ एचएफ6 हाइड्रोफ्लोरिक एसिड एक्सेप्ट आंसर क्या होगा मैं हाइपोमैग्नीसीमिया तो कराता है हाइपोकैल्सीमिया कराता है एच प्लस आयंस इसमें है ना खूब सारे तो इंक्रीज्ड एच प्लस आयंस भी होगा बॉडी में सो हियर द आंसर ऑफ चॉइस विल बी ऑप्शन बी आंसर ऑफ चॉइस विल बी ऑप्शन it leads to hypomagnesemia na that is why for hf6 we can give iv magnesium sulfate to the patient it causes hypocalcemia so i can give iv calcium gluconate to the patient and isko kaise pucha gaya tha by framing match the following in one side hf6 another side 10% calcium gluconate was getting matched last question for the day correct composition of black gun powder kya hoga What will be the correct composition of? So, याद करो कैसे हम लोग रिवाइज करते हैं क्लास में ब्लैक गन पाउडर इज मेड अपी सी एस लॉन्गर द नेम मोर विल बी दर्सेंटेज अब रिकॉल करो पोटेशियम नाइट्रेट सबसे ज्यादा अल्फाबेट है सबसे ज्यादा परसेंटेज होना चाहिए ठीक है तो पोटेशियम नाइट्रेट शुड है मैक्सिमम परसेंटेज तो इधर ऑफ द टू कैन बी माई आंसर ठीक है देन आउट ऑफ चारकोल एंड सल्फर चारकोल हैज मोर एल्फाबेट्स चारकोल हैज मोर एल्फाबेट्स ठीक है तो हमें एग्जैक्ट नंबर भी याद होना चाहिए कि हाँ 75 फाइव परसेंट पोटेशियम नाइट्रेट फिफ्टीन परसेंट चारकोल एंड 10 परसेंट सल्फर मेक्स योर पी सी एस दैट इज ब्लैक गन पाउडर यूज इन शॉर्ट गन कार्ट्रिज शॉर्ट गन कार्ट्रिज वैसे याद रहेगा ना मोर द नंबर ऑफ एल्फाबेट्स मोर इज द परसेंटेज इसका 75 फाइव याद रखना है बाकी दोनों का 15 एंड 10 तो दिस कवर्स आवर all the questions do you want to have a look at uh, november 22 questions or anything which you want to discuss november 22 questions answers dikha do ek bar jaldi se quickly ek bar quick recap kar lete hain theek hai so this was the morning session questions these were the morning sessions questions in a gun shot iska discussion na that is already covered i'm just trying to recap for those students na though those who want a quick recap of only the questions answer in a gun shot case tattooing is noted surrounding a to pucha gaya tha tattooing occurs mainly due to so we know tattooing is due to unburned gunpowder particles without any doubt then spanish bendlash technique is also known as one of the types of garroting is spanish windlass technique what is garroting strangulation by iron collars so here the answer will go with garroting no so this is this is what is garroting the neck is being compressed by iron collars this was a mass the following poisons with their active principles abrus picatorius will have abrin as the active principle 
नेक्स्ट वॉमिक ड्राउनिंग केस so in a drowning case ballooning of lungs is noted cadaveric spasm can be noted due to the struggle the person consumes the atps of hand muscles fault of hemorrhage sub pleural hemorrhage is mainly in the lower lobe of lungs due to the violent effort to survive also occurs but this is a dummy option no? arsenic from hair sample what knows why they created this option <laughs> but it was made a simple question the details about what is ballooning what is what are all these findings that i have covered in the recall session this was a teeth based question so try to recall what what are the ages of uh, eruption of permanent teeth the simple mnemonic is there na whenever mummy is in pain papa can make medicine mummy is in pain papa can make medicine all the m's stand for molars so start karo molar 1 molar 2 and molar 3 this is m1 m2 m3 is for central incisor in for lateral incisor pain and papa for premolar 1 and premolar 2 this is the way to recall and solve such questions they are simple questions can for canning and we know that age of eruption will be molar 1 is the first permanent teeth to erupt at the age of 6 years I'm going adding one after each central incisor seven, eight, nine to solve any such questions, and this one appears at seventeen to twenty-five years. Now, this go all this you have to do in your mind without any stationery. That is why this mnemonic will be helpful. There. Mnemonic होना चाहिए, but very appropriate and to be exact mnemonics होने चाहिए, which are usable in the exam to minimize your efforts and to make your accuracy hundred percent. तो यहां पर आप आप कनाइन रिकॉल करोगे तो मम्मी इज इन पेन पापा कैन सिक्स पे आ गया ना सिक्स नंबर पे आ गया फिर आप रिकॉल करोगे सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन हाथ पे काउंट कर रहा हूं ना तो कनाइन किसके साथ मैच होना चाहिए इलेवन टू ट्वेल्व इजी फिर आप थर्ड मोलर थर्ड मोलर तो सीधा मैच कर लोगे सेवनटीन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव उसके बाद लेटरल इंसाइजर लेटरल इंसाइजर किस कहां पर आएगा मम्मी इज इन लेटरल इंसाइजर सिक्स सेवन एट एट ईयर्स तो ये वाला जा रहा है इंसाइजर के लिए तो फर्स्ट मोलर सिक्स टू से कार्डियक टॉक्सिन या कार्डियो टॉक्सिक का जो सिंपल निमोनिक है वो भी याद रहना चाहिए दैट इज वेरी हैंडी टू सॉल्व सच क्वेश्चंस एवरी डॉन हैज अ क्वीन डी फॉर डिजॉक्सिन और डिजिटलिस ओ फॉर ओलियंडर्स व्हिच कैन बी येलो ओलियंडर और पिंक ओलियंडर येलो वन इज कॉल्ड सेरेब्रा थिबेडिया पिंक वन इज कॉल्ड नीरियम ओडोरम एन फॉर निकोटिन हैज फॉर हाइड्रोजन साइनाइड ए फॉर एकोनाइट एंड क्यू फॉर क्वीन फॉर क्वीनिन So these are my cardiotoxic agents. अगर मुझे ये निमोनिक पता है माई आंसर इज वेरी सिंपल ना एक्ट सेटिया डिजिटल दिस वॉज वन ऑफ द्वेश्चन आस्ट फॉर माई अगेन नेग्लिजेंस टॉपिक पेशेंट नेग्लिजेंस टॉपिक इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिवाइज नेग्लिजेंस टॉपिक नाइसली फॉर आई नाई सी टी एग्जाम्स इन पर्टिकुलर ऑल द डिफेंसिस विच वी हैवर्ड इन अवर क्लासेज ना विद दैट हैंड आउट सो रिवाइज दैट टॉपिक वेरी नाइसली patient with history of previous surgery comes to hospital with abdominal pain and fever fir aapne kya dekha there is a instrument lying in the x ray finding is given with this corresponds to ril the doctor has done a obvious fault by leaving an instrument within the cavity other options they don't fit for the scenario hello finding in the image given below to ye injury identification questions they come in iict exam so here it is Contusion. This is what how contusions look like. This one is signifying to be a abrasion. 
this injury what has happened is epidermis is intact but there is a color change due to the rupture of soft tissue blood vessel this goes with contusion ये तो सॉर्ट ऑफ इमेज ही मैंने वाइब में डिस्कस किया होगा बिफोर द एग्जाम नाउ कम टू दिस वन ये कुछ हिस्ट्री दी हुई थी बड़ी लंबी जोड़ी हिस्ट्री देर इज हिस्ट्री ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंट फॉल्स इन अ पर्सन एन सी सी टी पे और एवरी थिंग वॉज गिवन टू मार्क योर आंसर करेक्टली क्रेसेंट शेप्ड हेमरेज द मोमेंट इज क्रेशन शेप्ड और सिकल शेप्ड हेमरेज एंड द टॉपसी फाइंडिंग लाइक दिस वे आर ड्योरा मेटर इज हैंगिंग बाई द साइड एंड Once you remove the dura mater, you are seeing subdural hemorrhage. Hemorrhage beneath the dura. Your single best answer will go with STH, which on CT gives a sickle shaped hemorrhage. EDH will be above dura. On CT will be idly shaped. Alkalinization of urine leads to increased excretion of weak acidic drugs. The drugs which have a pK in the range of five to eight, they are weak acidic drugs for us. and alkalinization is highly useful to treat those drugs scorpion sting has come to casualty with features of this is a pet question of ini ct exam abhi ini neat pg mein bhi pucha gaya scorpion se question then scorpion se kyu fantasy hai but acha hai it's good for us ek topic se bar bar question aa raha hai us topic ko strong kar lena ha isme se galat nahi karna so always remember scorpion venom mainly acts over autonomic nervous system and initially leads to over discharge of sympathetic over activity followed by parasympathetic over activity agar mujhe itna pata hai to mujhe pata hai ki hypertension tachycardia then pulmonary edema these are the features excruciating pain at the sting site then bleeding can also be seen in scorpion venom so initial management of choice will always be prazosin prazosin specific alpha 1 receptor Also remember in a scorpion stings na if the person goes in hypotension ab hypotension hai tab to prazosin nahi doge na hypotension mein to nahi doge to hypotension wale cases ko we give dopamine infusions then agar pulmonary edema bahut severe hai maan lo question lines are taking you towards some different track never mark prazosin there that is the whole idea suppose the question is mainly focusing towards pulmonary edema so edema ko hatane ke liye give diuretics like furosemide hai na so think towards that line but because hypertension is given as the prominent feature usually in such questions that is why our answer goes with prazosin nahi to dopamine bhi answer ho sakta hai given the lines of the question furosemide bhi ho sakta hai agar treatment keval iska puch raha hai theek hai getting the idea na what is the treatment of choice overall किसी भी वेनम के लिए उसका स्पेसिफिक एंटीवेन तो स्कॉर्पियन एंटीवेनम इज अवेलेबल प्रिपेयर्ड बाय अवर ड्रग रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट दैट इज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ट्रेस दीज आर जस्ट सिम्टोमेटिक मैनेजमेंट इजी क्वेश्चन किस सेशन में आने वाले यही मई मे में ही आते हैं नवंबर वाला यूजली लोग कहते हैं टफ होता है यूजली टफ क्वेश्चन आते हैं मे वन इज वेरी सॉल्वेबल गिव यूर फुल फुल एफर्ट्स फॉर आई एन आई सी टी And you never know. ये जो प्रेडिक्टेड टॉपिक्स है ना हर सब्जेक्ट में प्रेडिक्शन है जो कि एक्चुअली नाइनटी परसेंट प्रेडिक्शन सही हो जाते हैं प्रेफर्ड ट्रीटमेंट गिवेन इन केसेज ऑफ डिलीरियमेंस वन द पर्सन इज लाइक सडनली लीव से एल्कोहल ऐसे करके अनकॉन्शियस स्टेज में आया तो आई भी ड्रग ही दोगे एंड प्रेफर्ड वन इज ऑक्सा जेपम और लोरा जेपम विटामिन बी वन कैन बी एडिड क्योंकि नॉन एल्कोहलिक है तो बी वन ऑलरेडी डेफिशियंट होगा मैच द फॉलोइंग ये कुछ मेनियास को मैच करना था सिंपल क्वेश्चन था क्लेप्टोमेनिया सबको पता है क्लेप्टोमेनिया इज इम्पल्स टू स्टील इम्पल्स इज इर रेजिस्टेबल अर्ज टू डू पायरोमेनिया इज इम्पल्स टू सेट एवरीथिंग ऑन फायर डिप्सोमेनिया इज इम्पल्स टू ड्रिंक दिस गोज विथ इम्पल्स टू कंज्यूम एल्कोहल एंड म्यूटिलोमेनिया गोज विथ इम्पल्स टू म्यूटिलेट एनिमल्स यू कैन डू सिंपल मैच इट ये था मॉर्निंग सेशन का क्वेश्चन उसके बाद इवनिंग सेशन के भी क्वेश्चन थे तो देखो ये आ गया ना फिर से <laughs> ये फिर से आया मे में तो रिमेम्बर दो टू और थ्री लाइन्स इट इज डू टू सेल्फ हेमोग्लोबिन पिगमेंट दिस प्रोसेस स्टार्ट एट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स सीन एट थर्टी सिक्स टू फोर्टी एट आवर्स बस तो दिस इज वॉट इज मार्बल एंड द वेन्स बिकम प्रोमिनेंट एंड वी विल ऑल्सो सी 
other signs of bacterial putrefaction is greenish blackish discoloration over skin the so fetal death topic is very important so in a dead born fetus case usg is done which helps us to estimate time since death so usg of the mother kiya gaya to aapko kya dikha gas was noted in great vessels like what so this is what is robert sign seen earliest by 12 hours of intrauterine death of the fetus ball sign kya hota hai due to hypermobility of the spine the fetus assumes the shape of a ball what is spalding sign over reddening of skull walled bones over each other seen at about 5 to 7 days what is dual sign halo sign a halo area between scalp and skull seen at about 3 days robert is seen at about 12 hours so yes we are estimating our time since death also no they are medical legal sign isliye pucha jata hai that is why they are important ball sign ka utna medical legal importance nahi hai isliye question mein rehte hi nahi ki ball sign ka na jo time since death ka authenticity is not reliable roughly the literature says 2 to 3 days but in ka authenticity they are authentic medical legal sign most common cause of death in due to drowning in cold water ab hame pata hona chahiye drowning in cold water is also called hydrocution also called as immersion syndrome also called as immersion syndrome and here the most common cause of death is vagal shock or vagal inhibition killing the person ये देखो ये फिर से आ गया ना इंसानिटी वाला क्वेश्चन बीच में कवर डर लिया ना ओल्ड क्वेश्चन था तो डर हम्स एंड करंस आर द रूल्स ऑलमोस्ट द सेम रिपीट डिट टू रिपीट सीइंग द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कवरिंग पीवाईक्यूज एंड दैट इज व्हाई ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स विल बी कवर्ड वन बाय वन दैट यू टेक मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट क्राई ऑफ द फीटस वाज हर्ड व्हेन द डिलीवरी वाज बीइंग डन बिफोर डिलीवरी ऑफ द हर्ड बिफोर डिलीवरी ऑफ द हेड सो इफ द हेड इज within uterus sometimes the cry can be heard from the uterine cavity after rupture of membranes and this is what is called vaginitis uterinus if the head was passing through vaginal cavity area after rupture of membranes and then the cry was heard by the doctor so that is called vaginitis vaginalis so here the correct answer was vaginitis uterus ye tha snake bite management protocol multiple correct answers will you kill the snake no snake can bite you never make an attempt to kill the snake this is the first line of the guidelines never kill the snake jaise ye dekho ye likha hua hai ye guidelines maine extract nikala tha do not attempt to kill the or catch the snake to wahan se line pick kiya gaya na discard any traditional first aid methods do not wash the wound and interfere with the bite wound matlab incision suction rubbing tattooing vigorous cleaning massage kuch nahi karna hai kuch bhi nahi karna hai never make do anything which will increase the muscular motion muscular movement hoga to venom spread will be quick do not apply or inject asv locally always to be given through slow iv route no tourniqueting is to be done but ha in hospital settings they have particularly written in hospital settings what can be used is sutherland wraps at a pressure of 55 mm of mercury kyunki itne pressure pe hota kya hai na what is compressed is only the lymphatics and the superficial veins the major veins and arteries they are and major root of venom spread is these lymphatic channels and superficial veins so we obstruct those channels which are leading to venom spread at this pressure and my arterial limb supply is also meant that can be utilized but tourniqueting is not to be done so yes as we administration after administration is to be done immobilization is to be done as if the limb has fractured Debridement never to be done, tourniqueting never to be done, washing never to be done. क्या क्या करना है? B and C, only B and C. Huge tragedy is due to consumption of methyl alcohol, also called as methyl alcohol. Illicit liquor consumption mainly consists of methanol. Methanol is in love with GIT. So initially the pe the people they have intense abdominal pain, then it is in love with optic nerves. which toxic metabolite of methanol metabolism methanol metabolizes to first of all to formaldehyde and then to formic acid it is this formic acid which is toxic to git first then it is toxic to optic nerves leads to bilateral blindness it is also toxic to vital brain centers mainly basal ganglia necrosis karate and that leads to death of people this tragedy is called as huge tragedy फिर ये पूछा गया था मैच मेकिंग इंडस्ट्री में देर इज अर्सन हुई वर्किंग ही इज प्रेजेंटिंग विद मल्टीपल डिस्चार्जिंग सेंसेस तो 
इंडस्ट्रियल कोरलेशन बना के क्या आपको बताया गया दैट मैच मेकिंग इंडस्ट्री में द पर्सन कैन बी अ केस ऑफ क्रॉनिक फॉस्फोरस पॉइजनिंग एंड क्रॉनिक फॉस्फोरस पॉइजनिंग में वॉट कैन हैपन इज फॉसी जॉ ग्लास जॉ और लुसीफर्स जॉ वेयर वॉट अकर्स इज ऑस्टियोमाइलाइटिस ऑफ मैंडेबल बोन ऑस्टियोमाइलाइटिस का कॉम्प्लीकेशन होता है ना डिस्चार्जिंग सिनोसिस वॉट इज द लाइकली कॉज ऑफ पॉइजनिंग फॉस्फोरस टू बी एक्जैक्ट विच फॉस्फोरस येलो और व्हाइट फॉस्फोरस तो यूजली मैच मेकिंग इंडस्ट्री में रेड फॉस्फोरस ही यूज होता है बट टू increase the profit sometimes these match making industries their bosses they can use yellow or white phosphorus that leads to poisoning fir ye image pucha gaya tha hamare all india mein bhi aur isme bhi yahan to correct answer is split laceration also called as incised looking lacerated wound incised looking lacerated wound or split laceration ka mechanism kya hota hai crushing of soft tissues or sandwiching of soft tissues बिटवीन द वेपन एंड द अंडरलाइंग स्कल यूजली हेड एरिया में दिखते हैं और एनी एरिया वेयर देर इज अ बोन जस्ट बिनीथ द स्किन लाइक नकल्स लाइक शीन एरिया और यहां पर आपको ये दिख रहे हो ब्लैक आई ब्लैक आई इज कैन बी ड्यू टू एक्टोपिक ब्रूजिंग और इट कैन बी ड्यू टू डायरेक्ट इम्पैक्ट तो अगर मैं नेक्स्ट टाइम पूछू कि वॉट इज द कॉज ऑफ दिस ब्लैक आई कॉज ऑफ दिस ब्लैक आई इन दिस केस इज एक्टोपिक ब्रूजिंग because the injury is located over frontal area so these are prospective questions from the same image identify the finding in image ye directly image dikha ke aapse pucha gaya tha ki kis type ka operation and we know ligature mark in hanging or ligature strangulation is a type of pressure operation because they occur due to sustained pressure over a body part sustained pressure ki wajah se kya hota hai pressure operation ये था आपके परवर्जन्स का मैच द फॉलोइंग फ्रॉटिज्म क्या होता है फ्रॉटिज्म रबिंग ऑफ प्राइवेट पार्ट्स इन पब्लिक दिस गोज विद फ्रॉटिज्म योनिज्म इज आल्सो कॉल्ड ट्रांसवेस्टिज्म और क्रॉस ड्रेसिंग एंड सिंपली मींस वियरिंग क्लोथ्स ऑफ ऑपोजिट जेंडर व्हेन दैट इज गिविंग सेक्सुअल ग्रेटिफिकेशन विद दिस मैचेस विद योनिज्म नेक्रोफिलिया इज हैविंग सेक्सुअल इंटरकोर्स विद डेड बॉडीज इज इट अ पनिशेबल ऑफेंस यस What is exhibitionism? Display of private parts in public. Is it a punishable offence? Exhibitionism is a punishable offence under 294 IPC. Protectionism is a punishable offence under 290 IPC. याद आ रहा है? Necrophilia or necrophagia is like showing disrespect to dead body. So this is a punishable offence under. कौन बताएगा? Which IPC? Showing disrespect to dead body is punishable offence under. Answer, answer, answer. बताएगा ये लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे बताओ आंसर बताओ नेक्रोफिलिया इज अ पनिशेबल ऑफेंस अंडर विच आईपीसी हु विल टेल द आंसर टू दिस हिंट दे दू 97 है 97 के पहले वाला नंबर फिल करो Necrophilia is like showing disrespect to dead body. जैसे हम पढ़ते हैं ना ट्रेस पासिंग ऑफ बरियल साइट इज अ पनिशेबल ऑफेंस अंडर यू हैव टू टेक परमिशन फ्रॉम द केयर टेकर टू टू विजिट अ बरियल साइट ऐसा नहीं कि आपको मन हुआ और आप यू आर रोमिंग अराउंड इन अ बरियल साइट बताओ आंसर बताओ ये रिपीट क्वेश्चन है इसलिए पूछ रहा हूं बार बार 297, नहीं, 297. 197 तो कभी नहीं होगा uh, so, 197 uh, हाँ, तो एक बार रिवाइज कर लो वन नाइनटी वन क्या होता है Willfully giving false evidence under oath. 193 defines punishment for perjury. 193 also defines punishment for issuing false certificate by a doctor. Issuing false certificate by a doctor. Issuing of false certificate by a doctor is a punishable offence defined in 197. Jiska punishment kaise milega? 193 ke according. This is the maximum punishment provision in 193 APC up to seven years.
290 में वो आता ना मतलब ऑप्शन एक्ट्स डन विद फीमेल्स तो इसीलिए फ्रॉटेरिज्म कवर हो जाएगा ना फ्रॉटेरिज्म का एक्चुअल डेफिनेशन अगर जाओ ना डीपर डिटेल्स में फ्रॉटेरिज्म इज रबिंग ऑफ प्राइवेट पार्ट्स टू अ फीमेल पोस्टीरियर तो इनडिसेंट एक्ट डन इन पब्लिक प्लेसेस टू फीमेल्स फ्रॉटेरिज्म कैन बी अ पनिशेबल ऑफेंस फिर उसके साथ और भी सेक्शंस लगेंगे लाइक like 350 आउटरेजिंग द मॉडेस्टी ऑफ अ फीमेल 354 सॉरी 354 आईपीसी भी लग जाएगा आउटरेजिंग द मॉडेस्टी ऑफ अ फीमेल अनवेलकम फिजिकल कांटेक्ट के लिए सेक्सुअल हैरेसमेंट का सेक्शन लग जाएगा 354 ए तो 354 सीरीज सेक्शंस आर आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फिर रेप का डेफिनेशन एंड पनिशमेंट सेक्शंस आर इंपॉर्टेंट इंजरीज का आईपीसीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट सो दीस आर द फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट आईपीसीज व्हिच आर इंपॉर्टेंट any other queries or doubts chalo to baki apne doubts telegram group pe cover kar lena hai na never keep any doubt from my subject within your brains do clarify them fsm ke pros and cons maine aapko counseling session mein bata diya hai that i have told you and the prospects also i have told you so go through the counseling session if you have not watched you will get a very fair idea and then you can plan accordingly agar first attempt hai my sincere suggestion will be give another attempt with full efforts aashirwad to sab logon ke liye hai yaar sab logon ke liye aap sab logon ke liye good wishes hain always always for all the students so keep your efforts on Keep yourself on. बस एक महीना बच गया एग्जैक्ट टूडे सिक्स ऑफ अप्रैल ना मेक अ प्लेज नेक्स्ट थर्टी डेज को आई विल मेक इट काउंट मेक इट काउंट एटलीस्ट विथ पी वाई क्यूज एंड यू विल सी दैट यू आर डूइंग वंडर्स पढ़ तो चुके हैं ना आप अब तो बस वो पढ़ना है जो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट है फोकस टूवर्ड्स दो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एरियाज विथ पी वाई क्यूज एंड रिवाइज दो टॉपिक्स तो वो आपको सबसे ज्यादा पे करना है चलो देन बबई बबई टाइम टू एंड द सेशन ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू यू ऑल आर ऑलरेडी रॉक स्टार्स ऑफ योर लाइफ सो इट्स जस्ट अनदर एग्जाम टू गिव इट विथ अ कूल हेड एंड एवरीथिंग विल रिमेन कूल एंड पॉजिटिव चलो जी बबई